Hello, thank you for joining me. So in this video, I'd like to explain a little bit about projections. Uh, there's uh, two different projections that are uh, common. We have the first angle and the third angle projections. Third angle projections are the ones we use uh, primarily in the United States and Canada, whereas Europe and Japan use the first angle projections. And the way these projections are is just a way that uh, you know, you're trying to take a 3D object and display it on a flat surface, such as your computer screen or um, in, in a drawing format. So let me explain what these are. The book doesn't explain it as well as I think it probably could, and it's probably helpful to have something that's a little bit more visual. So I'm going to take a stab at this. So what you're looking at is a symbol up here. I drew this in a sketch format in SolidWorks. What you're looking at on the top is a third angle projection, and what you're looking at on the bottom is a first angle projection. Remember the third angle projection? That's a test question, by the way. Uh, that's what we use primarily in the United States. Um, that's the one on the top. So if you think about this, these are just symbols. And what we're looking at is a truncated cone. We're looking at the front view of a truncated cone, so the cone is kind of laying down. If you're thinking about gravity, it's kind of laying down and looking at us. So here's uh, the truncated portion of the cone and then the back part of the cone. And if you look at the, the right side of that cone, this is what it's going to look like on the right-hand side. So in regard to uh, projections, the third angle projection, if you think about this, as a fold line, and that's the same for the first angle projection. You think about this as a fold line. The third angle projection, you're actually folding this part over here. You're folding this down. So if you fold this down, that turns into the right view. It will always be the right view, whether it's first angle or third angle. It just depends on where you put it. But this is the right view, and if you fold that down, you can see how that works. So for the first angle projection, it's a little bit different. You think about this as being a fold line, and here's your front view. What you're going to be doing is you're going to be folding this, not down. You're not going to fold this down in that line, but you're going to fold that up, and that becomes the left view. But the way it works in projections is that the left view is going to be put on the right side when you are uh, when you have that uh, either viewports in a, in a drawing format, or in a part format, but in a drawing format, it might be the way it's laid out on the page. And in the third angle uh, projection, this right view is going to remain on the right. So to help explain that a little bit better, let me go back to my model here. And uh, I'm going to turn on the loft that I have. And if we go to, um, go to our uh, view orientation, let's go to an uh, isometric view so you can see what we're looking at here. And this is uh, uh, based, not necessarily in the sketch I just drew, but it's got the same dimensions as the sketch I just drew in order to show the different projections. But I'm going to show this in a little bit more of a visual format. So here's our, uh, here's our cone. And if you uh, hit the space bar and go to our different views, this would be our front view, which would be consistent with, um, and I'll bring over a PDF document of, that, um, of the sketches I drew. This is consistent with this view over here. That's our front view. And if we hit the space bar again, over here, we have our space bar. We're going to go to the right view, and this is also con consistent with our PDF document that we drew, and that, uh, that is the right hand side, that's the right view. To make this a little bit more visual too, I'm going to go to my uh, display style, and I'm going to go down here to uh, Hidden Lines Removed, and just repeat that same, uh, same process. So that's going to be our front view, spacebar, that's going to be our right view. Now, this really only becomes um, apparent when you want to do uh, viewports, we don't do viewports very often, at least not in my class, not in SolidWorks. But um, if you want to do viewports, that is an option under view orientation. If you go to view orientation, go to the four viewport, uh, the four view viewports. Now you can see uh, how that works. So here's our front view, here's our right view, and our top view. And again, let's think about uh, our uh, our fold lines. This is going to be our fold line. We're going to take that front view, we're going to fold it down, and this is uh, on that line, and this gives us our right view. This is again another fold line, and that gives us our top view. This is folded down, and then we have our trimetric, bimetric, or isometric up here, up in that, up in that corner. What makes this different is uh, in the first angle projection, it's just a little bit uh, turned around a little bit. Easy to follow, but it's just a little bit different. So let's go to our options. But what you want to do is you want to go to your system options down here and go to display selection. And down here it gives you the opportunity to change that between first and third angle. We're going to change that back to first angle. Go to OK. Then we're going to have to go back to our, um, our uh, oops, I'm sorry, view orientation and go back to the single viewport. And then we're going to go back and do the four viewports. 
and now the views are just put into a different location. Uh, the fold lines are the same. If you think about this being a fold line between the front view and uh, what's going to be the left view, what you're going to do is you're going to fold this up and that makes this consistent with the left view. It's just that that left view is not on the left of the front view, it's going to be on the right. Think about this as being your fold line for the first uh, angle projection. Instead of folding that down like we did in the third angle, this gets folded up. So now that becomes consistent with uh, top view. Instead of the top view being on top, as we would uh, consider the orientation of the piece of paper looking in front of us, and on the computer screen, it's actually on the bottom. And then our isometric, bimetric, or trimetric view is over here on the bottom right hand side. So I hope that helps. Again, if you want to change uh, the orientation here, go to your Options button on your menu bar. Make sure you're in System Options. Go down to Display Selection and change it from first angle to third angle. It is an option on the very bottom. So I will have another video here in a few weeks when we get into drawings, and I'll show you how to do this again and what the impact is when you put these into drawings. But I hope this was helpful, and we will talk to you in a different video.